I know what you're thinking. You saw that thumbnail and you're like, this is gonna be content of the year. The tits. Bomb.com. But you were wrong. No, I'm joking, you were right. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna talk about what we got yesterday for our birthday. If you didn't comment, you're the worst person in the world. Just kidding. Comment what? That it's a happy birthday. So if you didn't if you didn't say happy birthday on one of our many social medias, then f you. I will forgive you if you comment now saying happy birthday because it contributes to a healthy channel growth. Okay, uh, we're done here. So we turned 25 yesterday, uh, um, and someone reminded me on Twitter, if you entered X Factor, you'd be in the over 25 categories. And I thought, wow, that's really rude. And also, uh, okay, so this is my birthday bag from Linda. You've not taken it off. Shit, also, removable masks. I'm sure it's intended for children, but what are you gonna do? Shall I do it for you? Can we do it? That's my nail maker that sound. Makes me sick. Put it on. That's on my phone. I'm gonna do the rest of the video like this. Paper. Paper. <coughs> That's. Oh! This is what Linda got me. I have to shave. Can I add the eye? Linda was like, what aftershave does Sammy use? And basically Sammy steals whatever I've got. So I said, we'll get one that I don't have so I can steal it. And this is French, it's Jean-Paul Jean Gaultier. Um, or also known as the one that every dad probably has. Uh, it's like a nude person. Isn't it called Hom? That's like, read the back. No, Gaultier. Bottom, eau de toilette. I learned that eau de toilette is actually probably the better one to get because it sinks into your skin and it comes out during the day. Now. I know what you're thinking. Gee, that sounds neat. It is. If you aren't aware, I'm a big fan of Lush um, because I think it's really good to use products that are good for the planet. And they do loads of charity stuff and I just think they have good ethics and it matches what? me. So, Prince of Darkness face mask. What is it like? It's supposed to be in the fridge. I imagine, what? We're on a crazy train heading for scrubbed up skin with the charcoal and sea salt packed into this mask. Is it black? Is it like... <gasps> oh, oh, it's it's like... Also from Lush, shower jelly. Now, huh? no, you can't eat this, but I've tried. No, all I've done, I'll be honest, all I've done is gone into a Lush shop, like a Lush shop, and stuck my finger in it. Slap it. <gasps> Slap okay. it. It gets all up in your crevices. It feels good. Smells fresh. Sorry. <laughs> Chill it, freeze it, or use it straight from the pot. Stroke our wobbly bit all over your wobbly bits in the shower. And it knows me well. So. I get really chapped lips. So Linda got me this, um, like dry lips, like dry skin. She got me a lip scrub. What? It's called honey. Oh, that just went straight in my mouth. <laughs> And it tastes really good, so rub over your lips and let spoonfuls of honey smooth your smackers. Oh, so good. So that makes your lips nice and smooth. Right, my favourite Lush product of all time has to be Yuzu and Coco. Yuzu and Coco. Just imagine a Terry's chocolate orange has been condensed down into this, but probably not condensed down because it's quite big still, and you are going to put it all over your body. Come out of the shower, feeling like a treat. Right, I'm so glad you shared that with us. Oh my god! <laughs> if this stains closed. <laughs> well, you're a piece of sh. You're an asshole. <laughs> Just wipe your shirt, Mickey. You don't need to change. I do. What a waste. Thanks for that. Water. Okay, right, now that's enough of anything Sammy has because he's f***ing me off. Super excited for this one, you're gonna love it, go. Probably one of the cooler things you've ever seen a YouTuber receive is it. I'm just gonna show you what it is. It is a steam water in it. So this is, oh it's leaking on me, there you go. This is, it's wet. oh that's a shame. It's a steam mop. Steam mop. 
Um, I've used it. I've shut up. I don't know where the hose goes though. We have a hose for it. You know you're an adult when you get excited about home appliances. Well, I got back after our birthday and the first thing I did, you guessed it, was steam the shit out of everything. The floor has never been more pallid and the carpets have never been more wet. But guess what? They're clean. Guess what we got? I need to get it. Another thing we got, which I'm super excited to use, an espresso machine. Is that leaving the right side? Oh yeah. Espresso machine. Look at it. You can barely see it against the black here, but it's black and it's super clean and it's espresso and it takes cups. You put tiny little cups of coffee in it to get tiny cups of coffee. Basically, but you get tiny foil pots that look like tiny pot noodle pots. Oh, you can see them. Wow, surprising. And what you do, is that how much it was? And what you do is you throw them in the bin, not the recycling because you can't recycle foil. And it's super sexy because they end up in landfill sites. I'll show you some of the flavours we have. Show me what's the flavour. How much of flavour? Are super expensive, so we won't be buying those again. Um, but there was Rosa Bea, Levanto, Veluto, Cosi, Dusalo. And all of those words are Italian for pretentious. I call this machine the carousel of privilege. And what I do is I like to spin it when I have guests, just so they can see um, my lifestyle. Guess what I got? A hairdryer. Now I know what you're thinking. Surely you wake up and your hair's that nice and luscious. <laughs> you're wrong. He uses mine and all of the products that I own. So my mum bought me my own hairdryer. I asked her to. Um, and it's really good because it makes my hair drier. This next item um, I'm super stoked about. What next item? It's an air fryer. Oh yeah. And I know what you're thinking. What the actual front door do you mean by an air fryer? Can you fry with air? Well, yeah, you, yeah, you can. can. You can. You've been doing it wrong. Basically, if you imagine a tiny bank vault from like cartoons, it's like this big and it's got a little dial on the front. You put stuff in it, shut the drawer and it cooks. Can you see it from here? No. You can't see it from here. Picture a tiny oven. Put shit in this. In there. And it cooks it. With air. With actual... Air. It looks kind of like a vault mixed with a smeg. Not. If you don't know what a smeg is. Google I it. Don't mean <laughs> cheese. And we're gonna do another second mini lush haul because that's what I got. Uh, Linda got me some lush things. Basically, she went in the shop, and they were like, "So, what does she like?" And I was like, "Hang on a second, Lady Bird Bubble Bar." Oh, it's Felix. Oh, cute. It smells good though. It's got. Cream of tartar, which we all know is for when you eat fish. Um, oh, that's tartar sauce. Peppermint, oh yeah, I like mint, so that's key. And then, so, as well, I also got my fave. Intergalactic. Can I squeeze it? No, you can't touch it. I've never actually had a bath bomb. What? Why? When my bath broke and over flooded, is that a freight? Flooded? Overflowed. Overflowed, Ooh. overflowed. Um, Basically, there was a hole in one of the pipes, and the water came straight through into the kitchen. When we, this is when we first moved in. Yeah. And the, the guy, the plumber, was like, how do you know it's from the bath? And I was like, because it's blue. And um, Nikki basically said, well, not outright, that Linda had the bath bomb because she was the only girl in the flat. But actually, it was Nikki with his little candles. Okay, my masculinity was... Shit on your nose. My masculinity was insecure. Clean it up, crack whore. I was a bit insecure about it, but now I'm like, fuck it, bath bombs are the future. This one is Garden of the Forest, and it smells like wet grass in the, like, rain. Oh, it smells so good. Right, rain. Like, foresty rain. What's it called when it rains after dry? Forest rain? What's it called? What's it called when it rains after it being dry? There's a specific word for the, the wet smell. I'll ask. Hey, Siri. What's it called when it's just rained and there's a smell? The name of rain smell. Petrichor. Petrichor. That's what this smells like. And last but not least, my next favourite item is this. It's an air wick. It's aiming at your face. It's an air freshener. Like you need to know what its name is. No one's gonna give a shit. 
It's an air freshener. We put it on top of our bookcase and it sprays onto everyone on the sofa. But do you know what? It's worth it because the flat smells super nice. And sometimes if you're eating food in the living room and it's just sprayed, there's like this film of air freshener just on top of your food. So you kind of have to get past that taste. But yum, apart yum, from yum. that, it's great and I love it. Mum gave us a hamper of like stuff that you need as a homeowner or a person living away from the parents. Cause like, I don't know if you know this, but when you move out, you don't just get given oh, shit. Oh, it hit me, it hit me. The fucking air freshener up my leg. Move it, I'm wet now. Humble brag. When you move out, you have to buy stuff yourself cause it doesn't just arrive in the house. So mum gave us this um, hamper. hamper of just bits. And inside there were screen cleaners or tiny cat mittens. I've not decided which um, they are yet. Gloves for cats. Socks for cats. <laughs> gloves have fingers in. How tail ridiculous. Or a tail. Cats have four feet. Why do they need four? Fucking <laughs> stupid is that? Give them hands. They don't need four feet to help them navigate on the ground. This could be a tail glove. Korean flashcards. That says body. <sighs> Basically, we put blankets in the basket and then these cute little bears. Give me mine. What's sad about these is they will never see each other. Because he's always looking that way. And he's always looking... No, he's looking... Oh, no, he'll see him, but he won't see him. So this is who we call Pedo Bear, and this is Pedo Panda. So let us know um, what you got for your birthday this year and when you have one. Don't say that's weird. Um, uh, let us know if you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to tell you that I didn't, because I had to change shirt. I've got Lush up my nose. It was and dirtier than I thought. Also, well, I've got a reminder for my eye test, which was this morning. Why have I got a reminder for your eyes here? Follow us on Twitter because we are doing some cool stuff tomorrow for the Brits. We are the social hosts for the Brits and we'll be at the O2 tomorrow chatting to your faves um, and you can follow us along on Twitter where you can decide what we do with the celebrities. You can also catch Casper Lee who's doing stuff for the Brits and you can even catch the show on ITV. Um, so if you're in the UK, I want you to know that my goal is to get a selfie or just a photo with in the vicinity of Katy Perry. Anyway, we will see you again at, at some point during this week. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and all of the things and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.